Hello, everybody. Welcome back to In the Trenches. Since I've talked to y'all uh, as of late, a lot of things have happened with the Buccaneers. Uh, I ran into the great Jason Light the other day. And uh, I'm over here at the Dignitary Cafe, and I got my golf cart. I head over to the Green Iguana on my golf cart, got out, and saw Jason Light standing right there. And he says, Ian, how you doing? I said, great. Shook his hand. And I looked at him. I said, um, you're doing a great job. And he looked at me. I said, seriously, I, I would tell you if you're not. He goes, I've heard you. He goes, I've heard you say it before, and I appreciate that. And I, he said, you've also always been fair. As somebody in the media, you don't want to be somebody who attacks somebody, and I try not to ever be that. I try not to ever make it personal. But you have to evaluate people. You have to evaluate Jason Light as he goes. If you say, what's Jason Light's grade as a GM to this point, in his whole career, he gets an A. I mean, we're... We won a Super Bowl, we relevance, we're still relevant, made a couple big moves. You're going to have some bombs along the way, and you're going to have some home runs, and he's had both. But if you look at the tenure, I would say Jason Light's doing one of the better jobs of GMs right now, and I didn't always say that. Now, let's switch it to Baker Mayfield. I get people, well, you didn't like Baker at first. Okay, I didn't. Uh, well, why would I? Baker Mayfield, they, nobody wanted him. He made $4 million last year. Do you know what, um, do you know, once again, there's a lot of crazy stuff happening out there. There's quarterback signing now. I think Sam Darnold just signed for $10 million like with the Vikings. Sam Darnold signed for $10 million. Baker Mayfield signed for $4 million last year. He wasn't a hot commodity, okay? That being said, you have to watch and evaluate Baker Mayfield for what he did last year, period. Forget about what you thought about him before. I'm not sure there was a better quarterback for the Bucks last year than Baker Mayfield because of his knowledge, new system, his legs getting himself out of trouble. I can see his leadership on the team. I can see it. I can feel it. At the end of the season, I saw his lineman come pick him up. And I was like, okay, there's good stuff happening here. So I knew that Baker Mayfield was going to get re-signed going into this year. Now, I remember when Baker Mayfield got here, and the first few games, people are saying, Baker Mayfield's better than Tom Brady, and I said, pump the brakes. Well, the season's over, all right? Tom Brady was here in 2022. Baker Mayfield was here in 2023. You want to hear the, the comparison within the two statistics? I didn't think Tom Brady was great. His last year, I thought he got rid of the ball, get rid of the ball too soon. He wasn't going to take any licks. We weren't going to win a Super Bowl with that quarterback. Okay, Tom Brady in twenty twenty two was eight and ten. Baker Mayfield in twenty twenty three ten and nine. That could be deceiving. Yards per attempt. Tom Brady six point three. Baker Mayfield seven point four. It's quite a difference. Passing touchdowns. Tom Brady's twenty seven. Baker Mayfield thirty four. Passing rating, Tom Brady 89, Baker Mayfield 96. I'm not saying Baker Mayfield is better than Tom Brady. I would never say that. But last year, Baker Mayfield was better for the Buccaneers than I, I think almost any quarterback would have been. I really do believe that. You can put a lot of these hoity-toity quarterbacks, uh, Herberts and all these guys that say they're great. I don't think Justin Herbert would have done a better job than Baker Mayfield last year. And that's what my eyes saw. And in this offseason... Uh, Jason Light's working his magic. You're going to lose some, okay? that's. I just had a uh, podcast with uh, the great Derek Brooks, Brooks and Beckles. You can check that out on all your podcasts. We were we disagreed on Carlton Davis. Uh, listen, Derek's a nice guy. He doesn't like to talk bad about people. I don't give a rat's ass. Carlton Davis wasn't that good last year. Carlton Davis was on the bad end of a lot of very big offensive plays. The one that comes to mind was Scotty Miller catching a bomb on him. I think Scotty Miller caught two, caught two balls last year. And one of them was on Carlton Davis deep against Atlanta. I didn't think Carlton Davis had a very good year. So Carlton Davis was traded to the Lions. You're also getting rid of a lot of cap space. You're getting a lot of cap money, okay? So when you bring in a Carlton Davis, are we better with Carlton Davis? I'm not sure. Because there was times last year where Carlton Davis was out and the Buccaneers played better defensively. They, they did. I saw it. Here's another name that the Buccaneers played better with out defensively. It was Devin White. Devin White going to the Eagles. Um, I heard a lot of people on sports radio, you know, laughing about what he got. You get what you're worth. You can ask for anything. You can ask for $20 million a year. There's nothing wrong with that. Just because you don't get it doesn't mean you shouldn't ask for it. 
Devin White just asked for the money at the wrong time. You can't ask for the money right after a year you struggled. And I didn't think Devin White had a very good year. I don't. I think Devin White needs a psychiatrist. And that means he's crazy. I just see somebody on the field that sometimes loses concentration. He just needs to be in a moment more. He's got all the talent in the world. I'm going to say this to Eagle fans, okay? I play for the Eagles. I'm not an Eagle fan. You might get a steal. You might get a steal in Devin White because if he gets his mind right, Devin White can play as long as his body's okay. I'm not sure how his body was, okay? He just, something was off with Devin White last year. Not quite sure what it was. It was something off the field, mentally, physically. Something wasn't quite right. So if he gets his stuff together, the Eagles might get, might get a steal, that's for sure. Now, there's a name that came back that's very familiar, Jordan Whitehead. I love Jordan Whitehead as a football player. I always did. I don't know why he left. I believe he went to the Jets. He came back. He loves it here. He played good football here. Dude that comes straight downhill and clacking folks. We need some more of that. And I think that's a good acquisition. Levante David coming back for one year for $9 million. I can't even imagine seeing Levante David in somebody else's jersey. Not ready to compare him to Derek Brooks. But if you're just even comparing somebody with Derek Brooks, I should tell you how good this, this person is. Because Derek Brooks is one of the best will linebackers ever played a game. So Levante David's back. Levante David, Mike Evans are two players that I've been saying for two, three years or they're going to start to fall off, but they just don't. So let's hope this is not the year. Unfortunately, it does happen eventually. Eventually, Mike Evans' age is going to catch up to him. Eventually, Levante David's age is going to catch up to him. Let's just hope it's not this year. I don't know if the Buccaneers are, are, are going out there this year. I mean, they're going to hope to win a Super Bowl, but nobody's expecting the Buccaneers to win a Super Bowl. But as Buccaneer fans, we have to be elated to know that we're, we were competing. There's a lot of teams that ain't going to compete this year. I can name them off. There's a lot of teams that just ain't going to compete. They're just not. The Buccaneers aren't one of them because they're going to look a lot like they did last year. They're going to have a lot of winning pedigree in that locker room. Baker Mayfield feels it. I mean, he wants to, he wants to come back to a town that loves him. There's going to be a lot of Baker Mayfield jerseys, and uh, you don't have to reestablish yourself. Baker Mayfield had to establish himself last year. This year, the, the fans already love him. They're already going to be cheering his name. They'll give him a little room for wiggle room to, to make a few mistakes. They're going to be expecting you know, success, as all fans are, but I don't think they're going to be overly critical because some fans are. If he went somewhere else, maybe made a little bit more money, they could turn on you real, real quick. You could be great somewhere and go somewhere else, and they boo you almost immediately. So Baker Mayfield is in a situation where he's calm. He has to learn another system, which is not easy. Every year, Baker Mayfield seems to have to learn a new system. But sometimes they give coordinators. I think Canales gets too much love for Baker Mayfield picking up a system. That ain't you. That's your quarterback. And, and Baker Mayfield has seen enough football to where he can pick things up quickly. Young players can't pick things up quickly. There's no way Kyle Trask was going to pick up that offense faster than Baker Mayfield. In my 10th year in the NFL when I was with the Jets, they sent me via fax the playbook. So, and, I, and I had to fly from Tampa to New York. And I learned the playbook on the flight. Is it because the coaching was great? No, it's because I played a lot of damn football. Remember John Gruden got all the 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 accolades for you know bringing back Brad Johnson and revitalizing these old quarterbacks. No, man, these guys have been around for a long time and they know football. They know football. So give me a give me a, a veteran like a Levante David or a Mike Evans as long as their bodies don't give up. Give me give me one of those two players anytime. What's funny with the NFL now is there's a funky running back situation going on where I've always said I'm not drafting a running back ever, never. I'm just not doing it. Still not going to change that. Watch to see how many teams regret giving running backs money. I want you to watch that. Remember when Zeke Elliott got paid? Derrick Henry got paid? See what they did afterwards. You think Saquon Barkley... Saquon Barkley looks like a walking hamstring pull to me. He ain't going to be playing. He, Saquon Barkley ain't going to be toting the ball 25 times no more. I would not pay money 
for a running back in the NFL anymore. I don't know why anybody does it, to be honest with you. And there's a bunch of them move this year. Go find you a Pacheco in the fourth round. or It doesn't matter. There's so many running backs out there. Running backs are at a point now where they don't change games. And I can't believe I'm saying that because I'm a running guy. You can get your receiver in the draft. Any Every draft is going to have three or four receivers that are going to star. You might as well get a running back because running backs don't usually get into that second contract anymore, with just and that's just the way it is. But Saquon Barkley to the Eagles, everybody's making a big deal out of Derrick Henry going to the Ravens. Derrick Henry's not Derrick Henry anymore. They're not the same players anymore. They're just not. So good riddance to them. We don't have to worry about it. Um, Buccaneers aren't exactly deep at running back, but once again, that's what the draft is for. And unfortunately, if you're a mock draft person, you're not going to see any damn mock drafts on this podcast anytime soon. I hate talking about draft, to be honest with you. That's what all the mock F experts come out. Oh, I looked up this player. No, you didn't. When you look up a player, you know what you do? Watch. If you didn't watch three films on a player, do me a favor and don't evaluate them. That's as real as I can get. If you go, you go watch the highlight film of a player and tell me he's good, that means you don't know how to evaluate a football player. So you won't see a whole lot of mock drafts on this show. I'm not going to sit here and tell you I, I, I get who's going to be good in college. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it. Once again, there's no more inexact science than picking a player in the NFL. You got one choice in the whole world, and that guy might suck. That should tell you how inexact that science really is. If anybody wants to hit me up, you can either come to Dignitary Cafe or hit me up on social media, Ian underscore Beckles. And, uh, you know, I'm always here hanging out. Got some other uh, podcasts as well, Brooks and Beckles, and uh, looking to expand doing some more. So I appreciate everybody listening every single week. Please stay out of trouble. Peace out.